over the New Year's, the Mercedes-Benz Charging Network did several events of expansion, very similar to what was going on this time last year. Let's go ahead and get into the update. First off, just as a recap of what we learned in an interview with Hekio Schmidt, the Vice President of Mercedes-Benz High Powered Charging, we could expect probably this year 12, two 12 cell stations per week if uh, they're going to hit the 2.5 thousand stalls uh, in two years from now. And so we're starting to see the activity start to pick up in that area and uh, the breadth of what where they're placing these stations is starting to grow, which I'll get to in just a second. There's also mention of the next retrofit, which we're starting to see, and we're seeing additional buckies starting to get built in. Again, the plug share has this Mercedes-Benz icon in order to do sorting, and when you sort, this is what it currently looks like, which is very helpful. This is an accurate representation of all the Mercedes-Benz high power charging locations currently. And as you can see, there's three in Georgia, there's four in Alabama, five in Texas, and this one up here near Washington, D.C., two in Florida. Let's go ahead and get into the stations that are currently open. First one, Springfield, Missouri opened. Arkansas e-traveler did a site visit video, which I'll link down below in the description. Melissa, Texas is now open on Interstate 70, uh, I'm sorry, on US 75 and it's up here northeast of the Metroplex. Auburn, Alabama on Interstate 85 is now open at the Bucky's. Bucky's in Sir Severville, Serville, <laughs> excuse my pronunciations, outside of uh, Dollywood and uh, Kodak um, on Interstate 40 is still spotted under construction. It has not opened yet. Calhoun, Georgia is open, 12 stalls. Luling, Texas, I think Luling, Texas, on Interstate 10, I believe is how it's pronounced. It's in between Houston and San Antonio, closer to San Antonio. And it says here, six chargers. And if you count in the picture, there are six chargers, but four of them are dual stall. Two of them are single stall for a total of 10 stalls. And it is open. And finally, one Ludon outside of Washington, D.C. in the very populous town of Ashburn, Virginia, which is a bit of an oddity. I'm not really sure how this site selection got picked, if they have offices near here or if it's just a random um, opportunistic location where they built into. But as you can see, as was mentioned in the interview, these are NAX stalls. So they have CCS and NAX going into this location. A couple of locations that we know that will be coming soon, Denton, Texas, northwest of the Dallas metropolitan area, and the Texas Triangle locations of which um, the Melissa is open, Denton is open, and the gray ones are already open. So that's what we know. There's also two additional Buckies that are um, not built into yet, which likely will be, and it is expected that every additional Bucky's that opens up from here on out will eventually have the Mercedes-Benz high power charging. I passed by one on my uh, trip to the Grand Canyon in Amarillo, Texas, which did not have Mercedes-Benz high power charging, so assumedly that's going to be one of the ones, and I probably should put that one on the list. That one has just recently opened, so I will do so for the next update. Thanks for watching.